Hi, I'm Dory and today I am starting a art challenge called ACEO April and this is a challenge I did complete it last year. Last year is the very first year that it went uh, was launched. My friend Claire Black Summer Coloring did originate this challenge and basically what it is is uh, it asks you to create an artist trading card um, or an ACEO and you are supposed to do one of these every single day for the month of April. Now I don't know if I'm going to be able to complete a, uh, a one every single day this month but I am going to try to do at least a couple a week and I'm really hoping that it kind of kicks off uh, you know some experimentation uh, last year I learned a lot um, artistically I was able to kind of experiment and do some things that I would normally have done and I grew a lot as an artist in just that one month uh, during the challenge because I was able to play with subject matter, I was able to play with um, different concepts, different materials, and I had a lot of fun. I also made a ton of friends, a ton of friends through the ACEO community. It's uh, actually a really huge thing, and um, I was brand new to it, so uh, that was another huge thing I learned. And I've done many, many uh, artist trading cards since. I have traded with a lot of different artists. I've got quite a collection at this point, and I really do love doing them. Um, they're they're just a great little quick art project, um, and a neat way to kind of play with an idea and on a small scale. So <laughs> it's uh, it's really nice. And it's also a really great way to, uh, if you're into trading or even buying these, uh, it's a great way to collect art from other artists that you might like. Um, and uh, building up a really uh, interesting and dynamic art collection without having to find a whole lot of space because all of the art is so small. Basically in ACAO it's um, it's the size of a baseball card or a trading card and uh, it's it's really that's the only requirement <laughs> is the measurements of the art. Uh, you're basically allowed to do whatever else you want, um, put all your information on the back, that kind of thing, um, but the art, the materials it's all I mean people crochet these they sew these they um, make little quilted ones it's it's so free what you're allowed to do with these and I love it I really do uh, I have gotten very into these for sure <laughs> um, I wanted to really get started with this challenge and um, I sat down I had my blank uh, paper in front of me my materials and I was just like what I do. <laughs> I was actually drawing a huge blank and I was just sitting there staring at this blank paper and I happened to glance over and I saw my face reflected in the um, computer screen in front of me and I was like, oh, well I'll just draw me. <laughs> so this is actually a self-portrait um, drawn from the reflection I saw in my computer screen. So <laughs> it's not a, not a not a super smiley picture. It's literally just me sitting there looking at myself. Um, so it's a very casual, very, um, you know, whatever. And I was, I, I just wanted to play with uh, skin tones. I wanted to play with uh, the shadow because the lights, the lighting in the, in, you know, in my reflection was very heavy and dark and, you know, and um, yeah, I just, I, I kind of wanted to play. So <laughs> this is me messing around with materials and just doing whatever happened to be there in front of me, just drawing whatever is there um, just to get started because sometimes as artists, we don't know what to draw. <laughs> we just literally are just sitting there going, what do I do? What should I do? What should I do? And we get in, in stuck in our heads that we have to, whatever we create has to be some kind of masterpiece. Um, and uh, sometimes it just, all you have to do is just take that leap and just do whatever happens to be there. Just draw whatever you see and um, hope that launches, uh, launches you off creatively. And this uh, definitely did. I felt like uh, prevented the art block uh, fairly well. <laughs> Um, I am excited. I don't know how many people are going to be participating in this challenge again this year. It was pretty huge last year. It was uh, amazing. I, like I said, I made so many friends. And I got to see so many different styles of art and I learned so much. So I, I'm, I'm excited. I can't wait to see what everyone else is doing this year. It's going to be um, really cool. So <laughs> I'm going to definitely be searching 
all of the social medias for anything with the hashtag ACEO April or ACEO April 2019. I'm going to be looking for it because it's this is great. This is such a fun challenge. I like I really do prefer it over a lot of art challenges that I've tried just because it is so free and it's it's so it's more about the art than anything else. So if you're in, uh, if you're interested in participating in this challenge, let me know in the uh, comments down below. I would love to see what you would do with this challenge. Um, I would <laughs> um, possibly be interested in trading with you. Um, but yeah, let me know. Um, and if uh, you are interested in seeing some of my other videos, I posted every single day for uh, the month of April because I really was into this challenge last year. Uh, you can check out my um, playlist. I'll have it down below. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope you liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up and I will see you soon with another ACEO. Bye.